Some of the same technology used in Hollywood movies is being used here to test basic combat training soldiers on their ability to perform life-saving skills under real-life pressure. Remote-controlled mannequins that have a pulse, movable limbs, and squirt blood are used in one of two scenarios. The limbs were moving and they were opening, they were squirting blood just like a real thing. Oh, most of them are pretty freaked out. You know, they see the blood squirting out the legs and the legs kicking and things of that nature. They've been like, oh, what's going on? And had a lot of jumps and a couple of screams and like, ooh, I don't want to touch that. The simulated casualty provides more realistic training since it will continue to bleed until the soldier performs all necessary tasks in the correct order. So we don't turn off the blood or anything, we let it continue to bleed, and if they don't properly do it, then the patient bleeds out and we tell them that the patient just died. Well, that's, that's what a real soldier's going to do. He ain't just going to lay there and, it, you know, it, it, was, it looked like a real live scenario. So we know, we know what they're going to do or how they're going to react and, and, you know, that way it, we ain't in shock when it really does happen. Added distractions are incorporated as music is piped in along with simulated gunfire and smoke. It analogs pretty well what's going to happen. And, I, you know, I, I know when I was in there, there was a lot of stuff I was, it wasn't as simple as it, I was thinking it was going to be. It was, it was mentally challenging. Uh, There's a lot of stuff going on. Drill sergeants monitor each session so they can critique their soldiers as soon as they complete a scenario.